hello friend hello friend today we discuss about heat conduction through a plane wall first we define terms l means thickness of the plane wall a means cross sectional area of the wall k means thermal conductivity t1 means temperature maintained at phase 1 t2 means temperature maintained at phase 2 we define equation for plane wall plane wall means there is no angle that means we use general heat conduction equation in cartesian coordinates so first step apply general heat conduction equation in cartesian coordinates so what is the equation equation is del square t del square t by del x square plus del square t by del y square plus del square t by del z square plus qg by k is equal to 1 upon alpha delta t by delta tau so in first step apply general heat conduction equation in cartesian coordinates in second step step number 2 use condition we use three conditions first condition is steady state second condition is one dimensional and third condition is with no internal heat generation so what is the meaning of steady state steady state means temperature does not change with respect to time so derivative is zero so delta t by delta tau is equal to zero second condition is one dimension one dimension means consider only one direction means other two directions are zero so del square so del square t by del y square and del square t by del z square is equal to zero okay in third conditions with no internal heat generation internal heat generation means qg so with no internal heat generation means qg is equal to zero so that means qg by k is equal to zero so in second step use condition first condition is steady state means temperature with respect to time does not change means delta t by delta tau is equal to zero second condition is one dimensional so del square t by del y square is equal to del square t by del z square is equal to 0 and with no internal heat generation means qg by k is equal to 0 okay in step number 3 so above equation becomes so above equation becomes del square t by del x square is equal to 0 because del square t by del y square is equal to 0 del square t by del z square is equal to 0 without internal heat generation means qg by k is equal to 0 and steady state means delta t by delta tau is equal to 0 so above equation becomes del square t by del x square is equal to 0 so del square t by del x square is equal to 0 or we can write d square t by dx square is equal to 0 in step number 3 integrating the above different above differential twice so hum above equation ko do baar kya karenge integrate karenge so in first integration we write dt by dx is equal to c1 agar hum again the integration kare so hamara equation kya aayega t is equal to c1x plus c2 so third step mein humne kya kiya integrating the above differential twice so dt by dx is equal to c1 and second integration t is equal to c1x plus c2 step number 4 using boundary conditions and find c1 and c2 boundary condition means boundary condition means at x is equal to 0 t is equal to t1 and at x is equal to l t is equal to t2 again यहाँ पर अगर हम x इज इक्वल टू जीरो एज्यूम करें सो t इज इक्वल टू टी वन एंड एट एक्स इज इक्वल टू एल 
t is equal to t2 so use this boundary condition at x is equal to 0 t is equal to t1 and at x is equal to l t is equal to t2 at x is equal to 0 t is equal to t1 at x is equal to l t is equal to t2 and put these values in above equation we get we get c2 is equal to t1 and c1 is equal to t2 minus t1 divided by l so we get c2 is equal to t1 so when x is equal to 0 means t is equal to t1 so t1 is equal to 0 plus c2 so c2 is equal to t1 and again put this boundary condition at x is equal to l t is equal to t2 so t2 is equal to c1 l plus c2 in place of c2 we can write t1 so we get c1 is equal to t2 minus t1 divided by l so in step number 4 we find c1 and c2 and then put this value in above equation means हमारे पास equation क्या था t is equal to c1x plus c2 so put this value t is equal to uh, in place of c1 t2 minus t1 divided by l divided into x plus c2 की जगह पर हम क्या रखेंगे t1 in step number 5 we can say that this is the linear equation because equation looks like y is equal to mx plus c so equation a temperature distribution across a wall is linear then use Fourier's equation for finding net heat flow we use Fourier's equation q is equal to minus k dt by dx then find dt by dx so d by dx in place of t we can write t2 minus t1 divided by l into x plus t1 so derivative kya hoga with respect to x derivative karna hai so t2 minus t1 divided by l t1 ka derivative kya hoga ya? 0 so we can write q is equal to minus ka in place of dt by dx we can write t2 minus t1 by l so we can write q q is equal to we can write q is equal to minus minus k t2 minus t1 by l so minus agar hum common nikal le so k t1 minus t2 divided by l so in step number 7 define thermal resistance to heat conduction what is the thermal resistance to heat conduction rts conduction is equal to l divided by k so above equation becomes q is equal to t1 minus t2 divided by l divided by k so q is equal to t1 minus t2 divided by rth thermal resistance to heat conduction so this is our equation for plan work so basically is theory mein humne kitne step follow kiye in step number 1 apply general heat conduction equation in cartesian coordinates in step number 3 use three condition for steady state one dimensional and with no internal heat generation in step number 3 integrating the above differential twice step number 4 using boundary condition at x is equal to 0 t is equal to t1 at x is equal to l t is equal to t2 and find c1 and c2 in step number 5 in step number 5 this equation looks like linear equation because y is equal to mx plus c so step number 5 temperature distribution across a wall is linear step number 6 for finding net heat flow we use Fourier's equation q is equal to minus k dt by dx so q is equal to minus k t2 minus t1 by l so k t1 minus t2 by l 
and in step number 7 we define thermal resistance to heat conduction so rth conduction is equal to l by k so above, our equation is q is equal to t1 minus t2 divided by rth conduction thank you